Hi again everyone. Welcome back. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take the word Thailand and make it follow a curved path such that it follows the curve of the canopy of this boat. In order to do this we're going to use a new window. We're going to use a dockable dialog called the path dialog. And we're going to move it down here. Next we're going to get our, our our word Thailand out of, out of the way for, for a moment, for the moment. Just going to move it down. Okay, so our next step is to draw a path. We're going to use the path tool. We're going to design a path. I'm going to click once, left mouse click, click a second time. Wow, I got it pretty straight. Um, if, you, if yours is not straight, you can move this path by clicking on the, the little end node there. Um, now we're going to click in the middle of this path and pull up. And I'm going to straighten this out with these handles here until I get a nice curve. It's pretty good. Okay, now that I have my curve, I have my text. Notice down here um, it added a layer for this path. We're going to call that the curve. So we have a curve path layer and we want to take this this text and put it on that path so we go to layer and we say text along path we'll select text along path and GIMP is going to make us a new path all these um, this little fuzzy area is the new path the path is made up of little dots um, end nodes and those end nodes are basically following the edges of our each of our letters. Um, so now we have a new path. We're going to be on the Thailand layer and we are going to create a, a selection from that Thailand path. So we're going to click this red button and then we're going to move the, the path dialog box down and notice you see a rough outline here of the path or the new selection that we just made. We're going to add a new layer and call that layer curved text. This curved text is where we're actually going to see the marching ants of our new selection. We're going to say OK. And now you see the marching ants of our selection. We're going to come back here. We no longer need this Thailand path. Um, so just for visibility's sake, we're going to clean it up and delete that Thailand path. And we don't need this curve anymore. We can delete that path as well. So now on the curved text layer, we're going to fill. We're going to fill with white. Choose fill and turn our selection off. Say select none. Now I can see that I have a curved word Thailand. The last thing I might want to do is just straighten it up a little bit and I'm going to use my rotation tool to do that. And basically I'm going to ro rotate this layer just a hair. Probably a little too much. There we go. Say rotate and now I can move it down just a hair so it looks like it's right on the canopy. The last thing I might want to do is either turn off the visibility or altogether delete my old text and now I have curved text in GIMP. Until next time.